Yo, what is good, Knicks Nation? Welcome back to Knicks Media. This is Richie, and I'm going to bring you guys my player profile on Kevin Knox. You guys have been showing me a lot of love on this series I created on my channel, where I break down each player on the New York Knicks. So far, I've made player profiles on RJ Barrett, Mitchell Robinson, and OB Toppin. Kevin Knox is up next. You guys have been loving this series, hitting that like button, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you do so and hit that like button and subscribe for more Knicks content. Before I hop into the video, I just want to mention you guys use my code RichieNY for 20% off on manscaped.com. Make sure you go check it out because they have excellent products out there and it's perfect timing for holidays if you want to get yourself a present, your father a present, your brother. Anybody that wants to go on there, use my code RichieNY for 20% off on Manscaped.com. With that being said, let's jump right into my player profile on Kevin Knox. So, Kevin Knox is going into his third season, and I am personally on the side of Knicks fans that do not think he's a bust. I know Knicks fans are divided. Some people look at Knox as, okay, get him off the team, he's trade bait, trade him away, he's washed, he's a bust, get him off. I kind of look at Kevin Knox as he does have some potential to get back to where he was his rookie season. If you look at his numbers, it's pretty insane. I'm going to break down everything that I saw from Kevin Knox. His rookie season, he showed a lot of potential. He won player of the month. He had like a 30-point game. And then his second season, he fell off. He regressed. And that's why a lot of Knicks fans are hopping off the Knox train, which is rightfully so. You have every single right to think that if you do so. So let's get into his stats right away. I'm going to bring you guys his 2018 and 2019 stats because it's really crazy how different they are. His rookie season in 2018, here are Kevin Knox's numbers as a 19-year-old coming out of Kentucky. He played 28.8 minutes per game, which is really key, so make sure you note that. 12.8 points per game, 4.5 rebounds, 1.1 assists, and he shot 37% from the field, shooting 34.3% from three-point land. So again, these are Kevin Knox's rookie numbers, and it left a lot of Knicks fans with high hopes for Kevin. I'm like, wow, he does. He showed a lot of potential for an eighth overall selection out of Kentucky. Like I said, he won player of the month. I think it was the month of December. He had 30-point games, 25-plus point games. He was lighting it up from three, and he was the starter for the Knicks under Fisdale. He was a starting small forward, and he got a lot of minutes. And then you flip the script, and 2019 comes around in his second year. The Knicks go out there in the offseason. They sign a lot of veterans like Marcus Morris, and then they trade for Mo Harkless, and it pushed Kevin Knox to the bench. And now here are his 2019 stats, which was last year, obviously. His minutes went down to 17.9 minutes per game. Again, last year or 2018, his rookie year, he sh he had 28 minutes per game. So his minutes drastically changed. Then he only had 6.4 points per game, 2.8 rebounds, 0.9 assists, 35.9% from the field, and 32.7% from three-point land. So obviously these stats are drastically worse from his rookie season. And I think a lot has to do with it that he came off the bench and he kind of lost his confidence. And I'm hoping that this year it's not it's not going to be the case. Obviously, you can't really make the excuse of, oh, well, you got to be ready off the bench no matter what. And Kevin Knox is determined. He understands that it's a business. But still, I do think that the reason why Kevin Knox did not play well in 2019 is because he was used to getting a lot of minutes. He went from being the starter, 28 minutes per game, and then all of a sudden becoming a guy off the bench who barely got into a rhythm and he lost his confidence. That's how I really feel about Kevin Knox. So here are my projected stats for him this season in 2020, 2021. 13.8 points per game, 5.3 rebounds, 1.3 assists, 40% from the field, 36% from three-point land. So obviously, these will be career numbers for Kevin Knox if he does do this. Again, these are my projected stats. They could be way off. They could be right on the money. Let me know down below your projected stats for Kevin Knox because I'd love to hear it. So the reason why I feel like Kevin Knox is going to put up similar numbers to this is simply because I feel like he's going to have determination to prove all of his critics wrong because he understands that he did not play well last year. His numbers drastically changed. And I think that he's going to be ready off the bench if he does not start. I think he does have potential to start, but Tom Thibodeau did say nobody's given the minutes on this team. It's all going to be earned. So it's all a matter of fact, who is going to be playing well in training camp and preseason. That's going to depict who's getting the minutes starting by opening night against the Indiana, Indiana Pacers. So these are my projected stats. I think that he does have potential to set a career high for points per game and career high numbers only if he gets into rhythm. And again, I'm going to get into his strengths and weaknesses and why I, what 
he needs to work on, what he's good at, and all that good stuff. So let's jump right into that. His strengths and weaknesses. I'm going to start off with his strengths. So I think Kevin Knox, one of his strengths is outside shooting. Again, if you look at his numbers, I know he shot 34% from three and then 32% from three. That's not the sharp shooter you want, but if you look at Kevin Knox's jump shot, it's not broken, it's fluid, and I think he has a lot of potential to be a sharp shooter from the outside, especially at six foot nine. He has potential to be a guy that can light it up. I mean, there were some games where he hit five threes in a row his rookie season, and you're like, wow, he has a jump shot. I mean, it's not like he has a broken J where his form is so off. I think he just lacks confidence in order to get that ball in the rim from outside. So I do think that outside shooting is a strength of his. He just needs to get into a rhythm. He needs to get confidence in himself. Another strength I have is his size. I feel like at his position, he's a mismatch. Before I do this comparison, do not ridicule me in the comments. I'm not comparing these guys to be, Kevin Knox is going to be anything like him, but I do compare him to a Kevin Durant in terms of size. Kevin Durant is a six foot 10, six foot 11 sharpshooter, superstar. I know Kevin Durant's one of the greatest players in the league right now, but I feel like Kevin Knox could be a similar player to Kevin Durant in terms of somebody that size that can shoot the ball from the outside. Because when you're that big and you can be that good from the three point land, it's hard to contest them. Because if you're going up against someone that's six foot seven, six foot eight, and you have the long arms and you can rise up above them, it's going to be hard to contest them. So Kevin Knox's size just overall is a strength for me. And another size is that goes along with the size is length. His wingspan is really long. And I feel like he just needs to put on muscle in order to really be a threat in the league. Another strength to have is dunking. I feel like Kevin Knox is really explosive when it comes to there's an open lane and he can dunk on people. You saw that poster on Ben Simmons last year. You saw some alley-oops. He just loves dunking the ball. I noticed it's always with two hands and he's a high flyer. You can throw the lobs to him if he's ready for it. And he's just athletic. Kevin Knox is an athletic guy, and obviously these are there's a lot more weaknesses to him that I will get into, don't worry. But yeah, these are my strengths that I came up for Kevin Knox, so let's get into his weaknesses. The biggest weakness I have for Kevin Knox that I think that is going to depict if he's going to be good in the NBA is his confidence. It, I mean, any single player, whether you're playing basketball, football, baseball, or whether you're a person in the world with any job, you need confidence. If you don't have confidence in yourself, you're not going to succeed. I feel like Kevin Knox lost his confidence his sophomore season. And like I mentioned that earlier in the video, he did not perform well last year. And I do think that's because, oh, the coaches don't like me anymore or they don't believe in me. And I feel like they don't trust in me. So I lose confidence in myself. And he, again, he's 20 years old last year. Now he's 21. So you got to factor all those in because he just lost confidence in himself and I feel like that's why now that they have a guy like Kenny Payne who's familiar with Kevin Knox and Kevin uh, Kenny Payne is f known to instill confidence in players instill confidence in them off the field excuse me on the court off the court I feel like Kenny Payne is going to be a big reason why Kevin Knox breaks out this year Another weakness I have is his defense. He is very lazy when it comes to defense. You can see he gets beat. He's a mismatch out there. Whenever he's going up against somebody that is way more better than him on offense, like like a guy like LeBron, or I just remember him getting exposed on defense a lot. That's something he needs to improve on. Hopefully, Tom Thibodeau and the coaching staff can work on that. Another weakness I have is finishing at the rim. I did notice that whenever he drives, he kind of looks very lazy, and he loses the ball. He turns the ball over. He doesn't look like he's trying. He Sometimes he looks like there's a, a lack of effort with Kevin Knox, and he kind of has soft energy to me. Whenever he drives, he doesn't look like he's fierce, and he has that mentality like R.J. Barrett has driving to the rim. He lacks that type of mentality, which I have as another weakness. I feel like Kevin Knox's mentality, this is, goes along with the confidence. Again, if you guys watch my video on R.J. Barrett, you know that I said that R.J. Barrett one of his strengths is his mentality, and that's going to take him really far in the NBA. Kevin Knox's weakness is his mentality, and I feel like if he gets that mentality to drive, you know, that work ethic, I feel like he doesn't lack work, work ethic, but when it comes to being on the court, he needs to be confident in himself in order to succeed in the league. Another weakness I have is inconsistency. He would, his rookie season, some days he would have 30 points, another day he would have 
two points. Another day, he would have 15, and he was very inconsistent. If he can start being more efficient from the field and get more consistent out there, I think that Kevin Knox does have a future on this New York Knicks team. So that is really my strength, strengths and weaknesses for Kevin Knox. Before I end the video, I'm just going to bring you guys my overall valuation of him and what I expect from him in his third season in the NBA. I feel like this is a year where he needs to prove himself. When we drafted him, he's a 19-year-old kid coming out of Kentucky, and I said, okay, Kevin Knox is going to be a project. He's not going to be lighting up the league right away. We're going to have to groom him properly. And he went through a coaching change. He, he loved Fisdale, and then they fired him. He had Mike Miller, and now he has Tom Thibodeau. So he's in a new coaching system. And I feel like this is the year where he needs to show up because if he does not, then he's going to get traded or he's just not going to get re-signed whenever his contract is up. I do still have hope that Kevin Knox can find his confidence because when that happens, I do think he is a threat at shooting the ball from deep, and I feel like he's a threat at driving to the rim sometimes because his length is that dominant enough. I feel like he needs to put on strength in order to finish at the rim because he just needs to put his head down and understand that I can be a dominant force in the league. And I, I mean, I, keep, I sound like a broken record. I keep saying it, but that's Kevin Knox's biggest problem is his confidence in himself. If he gets that, I'm telling you, Kevin Knox is going to be a really good role player on the Knicks. I don't think that his ceiling is a star. I don't think he could be an all-star in this league. I think he could be a solid role player for the New York Knicks, whether he's starting or coming off the bench. I do think he has a bright future on this team. That does it for my player profile, Kevin Knox. Please let me know down below in the comment section what you think of Kevin Knox. Do you think he's a bust? Should we trade him right now? Do you have hope in him? Can he find that rookie season again? Or is he going to be a bust all over again, averaging six points per game? I think they need to give him the minutes, but at the same time, he needs to earn the minutes in training camp. So that does it for this video. Again, please let me know down in the comments what you guys thought. Smash that like button if you enjoyed, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Knicks media content. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Let's go Knicks. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.